And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Wednesday morning's flying graphic looking something like this. A lot of IFR here along the west coast and inland over the southwest interior all the way up to the western Alaska range down into Bristol Bay and in the area VFR here over the uh, central southeast bearing areas to the Alaska Peninsula and then IFR and marginal VFR for the Aleutians. IFR and marginal VFR Gulf of Alaska North Gulf Coast into the northern panhandle as well as the eastern interior. And then for the afternoon, good VFR here, Kobuk into uh, most of the Koyukuk Valley, some marginal VFR for the Yukon Flats, otherwise the east side here, pretty good conditions all the way down into uh, Prince William Sound, improving there, some lingering marginal VFR over the uh, mountainous terrain of the Kenai Peninsula and just north of Prince William Sound there. IFR for the northern and eastern panhandle, marginal VFR, for the coastal areas, the Gulf of Alaska, up to the eastern North Gulf Coast. So some IFR hanging around Yakutat. And for Thursday morning, IFR in over the southwest interior, and in some cases pushing up into the uh, Tanana Valley, possibly there. Otherwise, uh, south central Alaska, marginal VFR, Prince William Sound, though mostly VFR, southeast coast, IFR in the west, VF, I, or I'm sorry, marginal VFR in the west, IFR to the east there, and uh, northern interior out to the Arctic coast, VFR, and the Aleutians, uh, not too bad, marginal VFR in areas with VFR in others. And then for the uh, Thursday afternoon period, looking at the next system pushing IFR into the western Aleutians there, almost to ADAC, that'll probably hold off until evening. And uh, marginal VFR for much of the Bering Sea, but again, Nunavak Island, northern Bering Sea, all the way up into the Chuk Sea Sea, good VFR. Northern part of the state from the Brooks Range, actually the Kobuk Valley here, and much of the mid Yukon River Valley, northward to the Arctic coast, VFR, VFR basically for south central Alaska, and the Panhandle mostly marginal VFR with the IFR now off to the southeast. And for passes, Anatuva Canadigan. VFR for the day on Wednesday, pretty good for the Brooks Range, at least through those two passes. Lake Clark and Merrill, marginal VFR, occasional marginal VFR for rainy and windy, starting out marginal, turning better as the day wears on. And for Isabel, VFR, Mintasta, same forecast, VFR, Tanita, VFR, Chilkoot and White, marginal to start, VFR hopefully to finish, and Chilk, I'm sorry, Portage. Portage Pass, marginal to VFR, Chilkoot and White, IFR. And for the freezing levels here, uh, right along the east side of Kodiak Island, south of the Alaska Peninsula, this for tomorrow morning, and just off the North Gulf Coast, down into Dixon Entrance and north of the Aleutians. And for icing, a little bit of isolated uh, moderate rime possible for Alaska Island into the Alaska Peninsula. More so here over the uh, lower Yukon River Valley areas to the Delta, and then some uh, icing threats all the way into the western and northwest Alaska range here. And a better chance of some moderate rime icing here for the southeast coast from about Yakutat on down across toward uh, Prince of Wales Island. And then for the jet stream here, we've got westerly flow, not all that strong, the main jet south, well south of the uh, Gulf of Alaska and Aleutians also the main jet here just coming onto the picture, just grazing the far western Aleutians, but the core of the jet off to the south there, up to 140 knots, 9,000 feet. Nordley's 40 knots, central Bering Sea between this low here over the southwest and higher pressure farther to the west there. That turns northeast at about 45 knots between these two centers there for the eastern Aleutians to Atka Island. Pretty light here over interior Alaska for 9,000 feet and the panhandle south to southwest at about 40 knots. And for 3,000 feet, 35 knots southwest winds here along the coastal areas of the southeast coast. A wave working northward here, bringing 50 knot winds, mostly to the south, but that working up towards uh, Metlakatla and Ketchikan in those areas. And out to the west here, not too bad. North to northeast winds, 30 knots through the Bering Sea, pick up to 50 knots there over the uh, area from about Nikolsky to Atka Island. And west or east winds here for the North Slope, 
Antarctic coast up to 35 knots, strongest on the western Arctic coast, and with that goes considerable moderate turbulence up there, especially for small aircraft down into the uh, Point Hope, Cape Lisbon area there, Lisbon Hills, and also for the uh, eastern Aleutians out to Adak, considerable moderate chop there, or I'm sorry, turbulence there, and moderate turbulence here. Uh, call it Cordova, eastward there into the northern panhandle, and uh, moderate turbulence also here coming up from Dixon Entrance.